Parliament is pointing Commission Vice President for the Digital Market, Andrus Ansip, in a clear direction. Manage Google. In November, MEPs passed a non-binding resolution aimed at stopping search engines from exploiting a dominant position. Even if, as one MEP close to the file explained, it means separating search engines from linked commercial services. Ramon Tremoso, you're a Liberal MEP from Spain working on part of the gigantic European digital file. Let me ask you first of all, what would you pick out as your chief priority in 2015? Uh, we have a lot of work to do to create a, a really, truly European single market. And I think that we have a very good commissioner coming from a country that has been successful. Uh, commissioner Anzip is from Estonia, and we know that Estonia has been one of the leading European countries in the implementation to the real life and to, the, and to improve the economy uh, of, of these new uh, technologies that we need to become more and more competitive. So let's hope. Would you include uh, among the sort of um, many tasks to accomplish also things that Estonia has been very good at, like e-government? Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I think that the European Union is uh, a club of member states that uh, shares good practices, best practices. So this is why we need, uh, from the leading countries, good commissioners with ambition to, uh, to extend uh, to all the EU members uh, what uh, has gone very good in their own countries. In order for this to work properly as quickly um, as it can possibly work you need a level playing field and it's my understanding that you don't believe we have that in Europe at the moment. Why is that and what is the particular problem? Well we have that in the four years ago the European Commission uh, set an antitrust case against Google because Google is a successful company, we all use Google every day, and me too. We love Google, we need Google. Uh, but uh, uh, Google is giving in Europe uh, in the last years a preferential treatment to its own services in the search market. In the United States, Google has the 50% of the market, is the dominant enterprise, that's it. Uh, it's normal because they, they have developed all these engines. But there are competitors in the States like Yahoo that can compete in an equal foot with uh, Google in the States. And it is not the case in Europe because in the last years, Google has increased its market share till the 90%. So it's uh, behaving like a monopoly. Now we have a new commission that can give another possibility to Google to eliminate its ongoing monopoly or the European Commission uh, have the possibility to uh, start a statement of objection, which is a procedure that could end with a fine or with a regulation forcing a split on the company. And what is the fundamental problem? We, we have seen that uh, in the last years, uh, when you are looking, for instance, to buy a ticket to fly from Barcelona to London, uh, and you go to Google, uh, the first uh, company that you see in the screen is a company created by Google, Google Flight Search. So Google is giving a preferential treatment to its own companies. And what I have to say is that there were so many uh, successful companies in Europe that were success successful in the last years, but now are suffering the monopoly of Google and they are losing revenues, firing jobs losing value in the stock markets. At, at the end, what provides growth and jobs is the possibility of, of uh, having competition. So this is why uh, the European Parliament voted two weeks ago to improve uh, the European single market in the digital area. But we also said if it is needed to have a, a normal competition situation in Europe to unbundle companies, it should be necessary to separate the search engine from the commercial activities of one company. Because if not, at the end we have monopolies uh, uh, increasing prices, not offering the best prices for the consumers. We risk, uh, if nothing happens in the next two, three years, to lose many European companies. So we want uh, uh, a quick solution. And in my feeling is that maybe only with the threat of a fine or with the threat of a regulation that could end with an unbundling, Google will really move 
in this antitrust case. Okay, Ramon Somosa, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.